day, my dear grade 9 learners! How are you today? I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to this episode of Learning in the World of Mathematics. This is Miss Christine Joy Arumin, your mathematics teacher. Today, we are going to learn about the six trigonometric ratios. Here are some reminders before we start our lesson. First, Watch this video lesson until the end so you will get acquainted with our lesson. Second, be attentive and stay focused. Third, be prepared with you your self-learning modules, pen, and a notebook so you can take down notes. To begin with, here are our lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Illustrate the six trigonometric ratios. 2. Apply trigonometric ratios to solve missing sides of a right triangle. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us have this activity first, test your power. It is a multiple choice with five questions, and you have to answer each question within five seconds. Let's start with question number one. How many sides are there in a triangle? Is it A2, B3, C4, D5? Answer is, there are three sides in a triangle. Number 2. What do you call a three-sided polygon? Is it A square, B pentagon, C hexagon, D triangle? The answer is triangle. Number 3. How many right angles are there in a right triangle? Is it A1, B2, C3, D0? And the answer is 1. Number 4. What is the sum of the angles in a triangle? Is it A, 360 degrees, B, 90 degrees, C, 270 degrees, D, 180 degrees? Your timer starts now. And the answer is D, 180 degrees. Number 5. By looking at the triangle below, what is the opposite side of angle D? Is it A, line DF, B, line DE, C, line EF, D, line DEF? Your timer starts now. And the answer is line EF. So who among you got a perfect score? If that's so, good job! Let us now proceed to our lesson. We have here Lesson 1, Trigonometric Ratios. Since this is the very first topic in this fourth quarter, let us define first what is trigonometry. Trigonometry comes from the Greek word trigonon, which means triangle, and metron, which means measure. So literally, when we say trigonometry, it involves measurements of triangles. Defining trigonometry, it is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side lengths and angles of triangles. To be able to define trigonometric ratios, let's discuss first the parts of a right triangle. So as we all know, a right triangle is a triangle that has a right angle on it. So we have here triangle XYZ. In our triangle, we have our reference angle. So we have beta as our reference angle. So later on, you will encounter many of the symbols just like this one, the alpha, beta, gamma, and theta. So these are used as variables for angles. So it's not always that our reference angle is on this side or on this angle. 
we can also have our reference angle here. So it depends on what angle is given. So another one is the longest side of our right triangle, which we call as the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the opposite of our right angle, so that is the longest side of the triangle. Another side is the one opposite to the reference angle, which is what we call as the opposite side. So again, the opposite of the reference angle is what we call as the opposite side. Another one is this side which is next to the reference angle or we can say beside the reference angle is what we call as the adjacent side so again the longest side of a right triangle is what we call as the hypotenuse the side opposite to the reference angle is what we call as the opposite side and the one beside the reference angle is what we call as the adjacent side. We can now identify the different parts of a right triangle. Let's proceed now to the six trigonometric ratios. These are the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second, and cotangent. So these six trigonometric ratios are divided into two. We have the primary trigonometric ratios and the secondary trigonometric ratios. For the primary trigonometric ratios, we have the sine, cosine, and tangent. So the formula of this, for the sine, we have the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. For the cosine, we have the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse and for the tangent we have the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent for the secondary trigonometric ratios these are just the reciprocal of the primary trigonometric ratios for the sine we have the cosecant as its reciprocal for the cosine we have second as its reciprocal as well as the tangent and cotangent. So the formula of the cosecant, we have the ratio of the hypotenuse over the opposite. For the second, we have the ratio of the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And for the cotangent, we have the ratio of the adjacent over the opposite. So let's have this triangle as our example. So for the sine, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, we have our opposite as the Z because it is the opposite of our reference angle beta. So we have Z over the hypotenuse, which is the Y. For the cosine, we have the adjacent, which is the X, over the hypotenuse, which is the Y. And for our tangent, we have the opposite, z, over the adjacent, which is the x. For our secondary trigonometric ratios, for the cosecant, we can write it directly as the reciprocal or the reverse of the sign, so y over z. Or we can simply look for the hypotenuse over the opposite. For the second, we have the hypotenuse over the adjacent, which is the x. For the cotangent, we have the adjacent over the opposite, which is the z. There is a mnemonic to easily remember the six trigonometric ratios. And that is what we call as the Sokatoa Koshakao. So for the primary trigonometric ratio, we have the Sokatoa, which stands for the sine is equals to opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is equals to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent is equals to opposite over the adjacent. 
For the Koshakao, the secondary trigonometric trig ratios, we have the cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over the opposite, secant is equal to hypotenuse over the adjacent, and cotangent is equal to adjacent over the opposite. So to easily remember the six trigonometric ratios, just remember the mnemonic Sokatoa Koshakao. So let's have an example with specific value. So the same angle as our reference angle. Let's find for the value of the six trigonometric ratios. So first we have to identify which is the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent side. So we have the longest side, which is 5. This is our hypotenuse. The opposite of the reference angle, which is 4. And the adjacent of side of our reference angle, which is 3. So our hypotenuse is 5. The opposite is 4. And the adjacent is 3. We can now easily solve for the 6 trigonometric ratios. So first, let's have the sine, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we have the opposite, which is the 4, over the hypotenuse, which is the 5. So our sine, beta, is 4 fifth. For our cosine, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we have our adjacent as 3 and our hypotenuse 5. So we have 3 fifth as our cosine beta. For our tangent, we have the opposite, which is 4, over the adjacent, which is 3. So we have 4 third as our tangent. For our cosecant, we have the hypotenuse, which is 5, over the opposite, which is 4. So our cosecant is 5 fourth. For our second, we have the hypotenuse over adjacent. So our hypotenuse is 5 and our adjacent is 3. So we have 5 third as our second. And for the cotangent, we have adjacent over opposite. Our adjacent is 3 and our opposite is 4. I hope it is clear about the six trigonometric ratios. Now, we are going to apply the six trigonometric ratios in solving missing parts of a right triangle. Try to follow me by looking at your self-learning modules because I am going to explain the given examples there. And also, we are going to make use of our scientific calculators to be prepared for it. But if you don't have yours, you can screenshot the table of trigonometric values that I will be showing you later on. Note that it is very important that we know what trigonometric ratio we are going to use depending on the given measurements of parts of the triangle. The most commonly used ratios in solving right triangles are the sine, cosine, and tangent. So we will be using the mnemonic SOKATOA. Again, what do we mean by this? It means that sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So let's have example number one. Determine x and alpha in the triangle shown below. So we have here our right triangle. We have our right angle here and the angle which measures 48 degrees and the other angle which is alpha and for our sides we have here the opposite of our right angle which is the longest side this is what we call as the hypotenuse which measures 6 and the side next to our reference angle which is x and the opposite side which is 4. Let's try to solve for the x first. So the x is the adjacent side of our reference angle. 
So what do you think is the ratio that we are going to use? Okay, so we are going to use the cosine. Since x is adjacent and cosine is equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, solving for x, we have here cosine 48 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And that is x over 6. Since x is the adjacent side and 6 is the hypotenuse. So, to solve for this one, we are going to have cross multiplication. So, we have cosine 48 degrees over 1 is equals to x over 6. So, cross multiply, we have x is equals to 6 cosine 48 degrees. So, to solve for this one, let's find first the value of cosine 48 degrees. So, in this case, we are going to use our scientific calculator. If you have your calculator with you, just press cosine and then 4, 8 equals sine. But if you don't have your calculator, you can screenshot this one and look for the value of cosine 48 degrees. So this is the table of trigonometric values. So look for the angle 48 degrees here and then under cosine. So we have here 0.6691. So cosine 48 is 0 0.6691 or simply 0 0.669 so multiply by 6 it will give us the answer 4.01 so x is equals to 4.01 or to round this off we have 4 units so the adjacent side the x is equals to 4 we can also solve this one by just using our calculator. So after doing the cross multiplication, you can press 6 and then cosine or cos and then 4, 8 equal sign in your calculator. Then it will give you the answer directly. Now let's try to solve for the alpha so how are we going to solve for the alpha so note that the sum of all the angles of a right triangle is equals to 180 degrees since an angle is given which is 48 degrees and we all know that this right angle is equals to 90 degrees then we can just add these two angle and subtract it to 180 degrees or we can have 180 degrees is equals to 90 degrees plus 48 degrees plus alpha so so subtract both sides by 90 degrees and 48 degrees so we can find the value of alpha we have here 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 48 degrees is equal to 42 degrees so our alpha is 42 degrees now let's have example number two in a right triangle the measure of one of the angles is 46 degrees and the hypotenuse has a length of 50 centimeters. What is the length of the legs opposite and adjacent to this angle? So first, if you are given a problem like this one, illustrate the triangle so we can visualize the parts of the right triangle so we have here our right triangle or right angle here and then the given 46 degree angle so for our side we have here our hypotenuse the longest side which is 50 centimeters and then the opposite side let's name it as y and then the adjacent side let's name it as 
x. So let's try to solve for the opposite leg first. Since we are going to find for the opposite, what ratio are we going to use? Okay, so we are going to use the sine. Since sine is equals to opposite over the hypotenuse. So to solve for y, we have sine 46 degrees is equals to the opposite over hypotenuse and that is y over 50. So again, let's have cross multiplication for this one. We have sine 46 degrees over 1 is equals to y over 50. And that will give us y is equals to 50 multiplied by sine 46 degrees. So, we so let's find first for the value of sine 46 degrees. So again, if you have your calculator with you, just press sine 4, 6, and then equal sign. So it will give you the answer 0 0.719. You can also check this in the table of trigonometric values. So 50 multiplied by 0 0.719, that is equals to 35.95. Around this off, we have 36 centimeters. So the leg opposite to our reference angle is 36 centimeter. Now to solve for x, which is the adjacent, we are going to use the cosine. So solving for the adjacent leg x, we have here cosine 46 degrees is equals to adjacent over the hypotenuse. And that is equals to x over 50. So cross multiply, we have cosine 46 degrees over 1. That is equals to x over 50. It will give us x is equals to 50 cosine 46 degrees. So the value of cosine 46 degrees is 0 0.695. So multiply that 1 to 50, it will give us 34.75 or round this off, we have 35 centimeter. So the leg adjacent to our reference angle is 35 centimeters. Okay, so you learned now how to solve missing parts of a right triangle using sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, try to answer this activity what's more. Just pause this video and let us check your answers after. So direction, calculate the measure of the sides an angle of the following right triangle. So you are going to solve for the values of x, y, and the angle theta. So you can now pause the video. Okay, so let's check if we got it right. So direction, calculate the measure of the sides and angle of the following right triangle. So we have our right triangle. And then we have our reference angle, 38 degrees. The side next to our reference angle, X. And the side opposite to our reference angle, Y. And then the angle, Theta. So we have also here our hypotenuse, which measures 12. Okay, so let's try to solve first for the x, the side adjacent to our reference angle. So since it is adjacent, we are going to use cosine. So solving for x, we have cosine 38 degrees is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. And that is equals to x over 12. So cross multiply this one, we have 
x is equal to 12 times cosine 38 degrees. So again, find the value of cosine 38 degrees by using your calculator or uh, by using the table of trigonometric values. So the value of cosine 38 degrees is 0 0.788. So multiply it by 12, it will give us the answer. 9.456 or to round this off we have 9 so the value of the adjacent leg is 9 okay did you got it right okay now let's try to solve for the leg opposite to our reference angle which is the y so we are going to use sine so solving for y, we have sine 38 degrees is equals to opposite over the hypotenuse and that is equals to y over 12. So cross multiply, it will give us the answer. x is equals to 12 times sine 38 degrees. So the value of sine 38 degrees is 0 0.616 times 12. The answer is 7.392 or 7. So the value of our opposite leg is 7. Now, to solve for theta, recall that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Thus, 180 degrees is equals to 90 degrees plus 38 degrees plus theta. So, theta is equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 38 degrees. So, our theta is 52 degrees. So, did you got it all right? Okay, if that's so, good job. Okay, so let's now proceed to your assessment or post-test. We have here a multiple choice with five items. Pause this video and answer this and I will provide you with answer key. And that ends our video lesson. This is your math teacher, Ms. Christine Joy Arumin. See you next time in another fun learning in mathematics video lesson. God bless and keep safe everyone.